Hello everyone and welcome to part 7 of this Python tutorial. Uh, as I ended our last video saying, we are now going to leave data collection types for a short while and start talking about the really interesting stuff. And what I have for you in this video is the print and input statements, just to type them out here for you, print and input, this is how they look. Um, both of these statements you are going to use a lot in the time to come as both beginners in Python but also as a beginner in programming in general. Let's kick this video off with the print statement. The print statement is a great way to see output on the screen fast and easy. If you are for example wondering if you get the correct output from a function you created, then you can print it out and see it on the screen straight away. Print statements do slow down the whole program, so try to keep them out of the final result as much as possible. But as I said, as a beginner in Python, you are probably going to use the print statements quite a lot. And actually, a lot of the programs we are going to do together in the following videos are going to contain a bunch of print and input statements. But just remember, as you go on, that the print statements will slow down the program, so try to keep them out of the final result. Um, just to start off with the most basic, basic thing a programmer can do, let's do the print hello world. And now I'm going to say the most cheesy thing ever. You just created your first ever computer program. Congratulations! And that is that we now printed the string. Hello world to the screen. Uh, you can also use the print statements to print out any output you would like. Basically, and you can do integers. And you now did your second program, congratulations! No, I'm not going to sing for everyone. And we can also do floating numbers, of course. So print 1.2 and 7.9, because why not? And there we have them. We now have printed both strings, integers, and also floating numbers, or floats. Um, as I just men as I mentioned a bit earlier, we can also print out the output from a function that we created. And there's so many other cool features. We will do a deep dive into functions in a later video. You will not need to know that much about them for now. And I will type this out just to show you the actual value of the print statement. So let's start off by creating a um, function here. We'll call it test function, so test f. You do not need to type this out, just try to follow me. So name, and we want that to return name.upper. And that is our function. So now we will do print test f and gorm. And as you can see, we now got the output from the function we created straight away. And that was Gorim. That's my name actually in upper casing. So instead, uh, what, kind of when you are programming, you are going to use a lot of functions and you're not going to be able to get the output while programming always straight away. And there the print function comes in. Print function is a great way to test, or the print statement, I mean, is a great way to test functions and see if you have to do some changes, do you have to edit them, or are you getting the correct output? Uh, we are going to move over to the input statement now, and this is the best way to get input from the user of the program you are creating. And I will show you a few examples now using both the print statement and the input statement. So first of all, we are going to print the question. Hey there. There we go. How are you today? And we just printed that on the screen. Hey there, how are you today? And the best way, we clearly, clearly we would like an answer to our question from the user and there the input statement comes in. As you can see here now, we can input, we can say, hello. 
I am doing great. And now that's the input from the user. We asked the question, the user of the program answered. Um, and also, um, we can do this by just using the input function. We do not need the print function for this because the input function is quite fantastic. So you can do input. And within the brackets here, there you can ask the question. You can this can take in a string. So we can do it right there. Hey there. How are you today? Hey there, how are you today is now the question and here we answer. Hey, I'm doing great. And that's now the answer. Here also we did the same as here, but we did everything within the input statement. So we asked for the question, hey there, how are you today within the input statement and that generated so that we ask the user how are you doing today and the user has to answer so hey i am doing great is the answer um, the way onward in our programs can be determined based on the answer from the user or the input uh, for example if the user is having a good day the program can do this and if the poor guy or girl the user had a bad day then the program can do something else uh, for example, if they had a bad day, we could display a picture of a unicorn. Or if they had a great day, we can just say, ah, that's good to hear. I'm having a great day also. Um, and to give our course a nice flow, this leads up directly to the next video where we will talk about the if-else statements. That means, as I said, if the user is giving input x, then the program will do that. And if the user gives the input y, the program will do something else. And as always, if you do have any questions about the statements we've gone through in this video, then drop them in the comment section down below and I will answer you ASAP. Do also give me a thumbs up and do not forget to click on the subscribe button. And if you do that, I will promise you to guide you along your way to become a professional Python programmer.